Hey guys, welcome back to Project Time Garage. Today we're going to get back on the 88 Starion ESIR. Um, I think I did an intro video, I'll put a link to that here. Went to a car show a couple, three weeks ago. Um, ended up having to leave my house quite a bit before daylight. And um, I forgot how bad 80s lighting technology really was. You know, those brown, dim, incandescent Sylvania bulbs. Uh, and, and I'm a product of, of the 80s. I'm, I'm a child of the 80s. First car was an 85 Shelby Charger with incandescent bulbs. My second car was an 89 Firebird Formula with incandescent bulbs. Uh, and on and on and on. So I've had a ton of them in my life. Uh, you know, you know. I guess you just don't really realize how bad they are until you get into today's LED and HID technology. So I originally thought you know what, let's, let's go crazy upgrade on this thing. Let's do LEDs or HIDs, but I've scrapped that idea now. Um, instead, I'm going to go with Hella's H4 conversion for the seal beam light. So basically, it looks just like a seal beam light, glass housing and all that, except it, 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 but it accepts a, um, a, T, a H4 bulb in the back of it, a halogen bulb. So, got a couple of different uh, options for the uh, the halogen bulbs. We're going to see how that works. Um, you know, I, I've got some uh, some Hellas. I've got some Flossers also. Uh, I don't know which ones are going to be better. We may end up just jumping in the car and going to get some Sylvania Silver Stars. I don't know. Um, so anyway, let's dive into this project and see if we can shed some light on it. Let's go. So this is what we ended up going with here. Um, it's a Vision Plus halogen conversion headlamp. Pretty easy. Made by Hella. Um, let's jump in here and I'll show you what what makes these cool. Basically, they look just like an incandescent housing. They're glass, but they accept the um, the H4 style halogen bulb, like so. So that's um, that's pretty cool. I actually didn't really realize that these came with bulbs, but they do. And that's going to be a H4 12 volt 60 slash 55 watt. So I have some higher wattage bulbs. I have some 80 slash 100. So these would be, I guess, 60 watt high beam or 60 watt high beam, 55 watt low beam, I guess. So <clears throat> have some of these, and I also have some of these. So we're going to try the two uh, and just see which ones we like better. Probably going to end up running with these because they're 100 slash 80 watt, and hope they don't do too much current draw. So let's um, go ahead and load this one into this housing and then let's get started putting one together. All right, there's that. Let's get the car torn apart now. I want to start with a little bit of microfiber here because the last thing I want to do is scratch the paint on this. For these headlights, we have four screws. One, two, three, four. 
I think it's pretty much been like this since the beginning of seal beam headlight time. You don't think those are the factory original headlights in this thing, do you? It's got 46, a little over 46,000 miles. Actually, I think it's got right at 47,000 now. But that sure does sound like a factory torque there. If anybody knows what kind of headlights this thing came with from the factory, I'd be interested to know. Because that would be super cool if these were the original bulbs. This says KO. Eh, I can't read. Maybe I'll be able to read better when I get them out of there. I don't know, it's been in there for a while. I'm sure it's not original though. Clean that up while we're at it. Now, in order to make these fit, we have some, trab, some tab trimming to do. These tabs are too tall for the application. So, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in like this and just cut them off there. Watch it zing across the garage. Bye bye. Okay. Trimmed. Okay, with those tabs trimmed, I'll make sure that it's the writing is upright. We'll find our plug that just fell down into the abyss and plug it up. Set it back in there. Put our hold down ring back on it. The difference between the two is pronounced. In fact, it's unbelievably pronounced. Really, really, really like that a whole bunch. headlight actually has some markings on it 12 volt 65 55 860 52 Japan but that brand I can't tell what that brand is but they're both the same this could be the original factory headlights Have a look down there at that motor assembly. It all looks new still. It's pretty crazy.
Well, there you go, guys. Just a quick video of doing a little bit of a headlight upgrade without doing going too crazy on a car that's really, really stock and original. I, I really think those may have been the factory original lights that this thing shipped with. Um, you know, down in the comments, let me know if anybody has any clue um, what the original brand was in uh, N88 for those lights. I'd love to know. Just in case, I went ahead and put them back in the Hella boxes. I want to put them on the shelf because they do say Japan. They are both the same um, brand, and I've never heard of that brand here uh, stateside. So, um, so anyway, maybe we'll have better light when we go to car shows because let's face it, this thing's not going to get any nighttime driving. Short of going to car shows early, uh, it's just uh, I just really don't want to have it out like that. Speaking of that, I would take it out and uh, take it for a drive this evening, let you guys see what the lights are like, but it's pouring down rain outside and there's no circumstances where I'm going to have it out in the rain. So uh, anyway, maybe we'll do that on a future episode. Uh, trust me, it, it's a ton better. If you have one of these cars, well, heck, if you have anything that has seal beam headlights, I would encourage you to consider doing this upgrade. I'm not sponsored by these people. I bought this stuff with my own money. Read about it all over the StarQuest club boards and all this stuff. Um, and so, you know, it's there's nothing special about these light bulbs. They fit pretty much anything from the 80s and probably up into the 90s and 2000s too. Anything that had the, the square um, halogen sealed beam bulbs. Uh, huge, huge improvement. Anyway, appreciate you guys sticking out with me, uh, hanging out here, wrenching with me in the garage. Uh, Please, if you haven't already, like, share, and definitely subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell to get some notifications when we get uh, when we get new videos out. Also, I'll put a link down there in the uh, in the description to the light set or the light kit that I bought on Amazon. Uh, I bought the wrong ones the first time, so they're destined to sit on the shelf probably forever because I have nothing they'll fit. I'll go ahead and stick those down there along with the bulbs that I bought the uh, the, the higher wattage bulbs that are so nice and bright. Um, anyway. Uh, appreciate it very much. Tell all your friends. See you next time.